One pride. What's going on? It's your boy T back at it again with another episode of Talking with T. And in today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down the Detroit Lions win at the New Orleans Saints in the Super Bowl, Superdome week 13. Huge win on the road. It really is. The Saints is always a tough place to play. And I know the Detroit Lions took over that stadium like we've been doing over all season long. But still, each road game is hard to win on the road. The first couple of years under Dan Campbell, we didn't win on the road for a year and a half. So it feels good to just go on the road and feel confident that we are going to win this game. And that's why I feel like when we go into Chicago this week, but that's a whole other video for another day. Let's talk about this New Orleans Saints win or this Detroit Lions win at the New Orleans Saints. First of all, I'm just going to go on a limb here and say it. Sam Laporta is way better than TJ Hawkinson. I know TJ Hawkinson's balling out in Minnesota, but he's their only option. Sam Laporta, he's our rookie, he's our safety net, and he just comes through in the clutch week in, week out, and he just gets his job done. He blocks better than TJ Hawkinson. It's just, I would rather have Sam Laporta than I would rather have TJ Hawkinson at this at this point. And me watching Sam Laporta and TJ Hawkinson. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Because I think Sam Laporta is a thousand times better than TJ Hawkinson. I think he's faster. I think he's got better hands. And I think he blocks a lot better. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> but that's why Sam Laporta is the thumbnail of this video. Balled out. He's our rookie. He's coming in on some some records. It's fun to watch. I'm glad that Dan King, or Brad Holmes found him in the second round. Both our second round picks making plays in this game. Brad, uh, Brian Branch with another one-handed tip interception because Brian Branch is that guy. Brian Branch is the dog. Now let's talk about this defense real quick before we start freaking out, before we start saying, oh, we're not going anywhere in the playoffs. We don't know that. We really don't know that. And we got reinforcements coming down the line. Now let's talk about this defense throughout the whole season. Beginning of the year, we start out hot. We're shutting teams down, except for that Seattle game. We're getting sacks. We're hitting people. We're shutting down the run. The last couple weeks, we've been getting a little torch. Ever since the bye week, I want to say. <clears throat> the LA Chargers, they had Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler. Tough offense to stop, but all these other teams are stopping Austin Eckler and Keenan Allen. Then the following week, we got the Chicago Bears. Justin Fields runs all over us. throwing. Our, we survived those two games with a win. The Green Bay, we turned the ball over three times. <clears throat> Chicago, we turned the ball all over three times. So is it us putting the defense in a bad position for them to score? Or is our defense really that bad? Because I really think that we have came up with some stops the last couple weeks. We just got to just get back to where we were in the beginning of the year. And I just really think we're just a little injured on the defensive side of the ball. We got CJ Gardner Johnson supposedly saying he's coming back in the next couple, couple weeks. Hopefully we get James Houston back in the next couple weeks, get some reinforcements back in here, get Alex Anzalone back and healthy in our defense. I think we'll be fine. And I don't want to hear that. We're not going to go on a run in the playoffs. We don't know that San Fran could go on a three game skid. Like they just did. Philly could look bad. Like they just did on Monday. Ah, uh, on Sunday night against the uh, the 49ers. So it's like, chill out. We don't know what's going to happen in the playoffs. So I hate when we go into the playoffs and everyone just, I hope we just win a game. Let's go and go for the ultimate goal, man. Stop selling this team short, man. We're six or nine and three for the first time since 1962. That's something to sit back and smell the roses on. It's not something to sit here and get all angry about. I thought Jared Goff had a lot better game. The offensive line has still got to step it back up. Jared Goff's taking a lot, uh, taking a lot of hits the last couple weeks i just don't like how all the weapons that we have on offense that it just there's drives where we just stall out or there's drives where we don't get any points it's like come on we got too much talent you got laporta you got st brown you got josh reynolds you got jameer Gibbs, you got david montgomery let's start making some plays and you got jamison williams who look at him now He's starting to accelerate. He's starting to be that number one pick. He's just had to give him some time. I'm so happy for j -Mo. I'm happy for this offense. I'm happy to be 9-3. and three. I'm going to sit back and smell the roses for 9-3, and three, man. That, smell, that feels really good. That feels way better than it did last year. We got the same amount of wins as we did last year. That's two back-to-back -back winning seasons. No matter what, if we make the playoffs or not this year, we got a 500 record. That feels good. And I'm not saying that's what you should be uh, – playing for every year but to have winning records back to back feels really good because there's so many times where the Detroit Lions us as fans and them as an organization have back to back to back to back to back three four five three four five win seasons man we won nine games last year and we won nine games this year that feels really good that's 18 wins in two years 
where it was a while there, we didn't get 18 wins in four years. So I'm gonna sit back, smell the roses, and feel really good about my team, feel really good about this three game division lead that this Detroit Lions team has moving forward. We got five games left. Let's go clinch this division. Let's go win a playoff game and let's go make a run. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. One part, signing out. Peace.